Before going into this video, I just wanted to say I do not hate Yamato, nor do I dislike her. She is a really great character, and I actually enjoy her character, and I believe the anime makes me like her character even more. But in my own opinion, I don't think that she will join the Star Hats, even after all these chapters. Hello everyone, this is Emo, and today we will be discussing why, in my opinion, Yamato is more of a scabbard than a straw head. And what I mean by a scabbard is not Odin's subordinate, I mean by Momonosuke's subordinate, or Momonosuke's companion. As throughout the whole arc, Yamato did not have almost any interactions with the straw heads. I believe there are about three panels with the straw heads and maybe some was Luffy. However, she has a lot, a lot, a lot of screen time with Momonosuke that they, you feel like they are a great duo together, like, like they complete each other in some ways. She learned to him why he is important and why he mustn't die, and she taught him how to use his dragon abilities. She helped him to save Wano country by making the island float for a split of a second, and how to produce the flame cl uh, clouds. And she was genuinely giving him really good advice. So she's like someone who's mentoring Momonosuke, or she's like someone who has to be by his side. And even when you look at Yamato, she dresses up as Momonosuke's father, and Momonosuke can use her Kaido's ability who is Yamato's father, so they are quite similar in a lot of ways, and I believe they are the same age, or maybe there is one year difference or something. Uh, however, Momonosuke still has the mind of a child, but they are the same age, so they are a great duo together that I believe Yamato has a, a really great relationship with Momonosuke. Plus, if Yamato was really joining the Star Hats, I believe that she would have had a lot more screen time with, with the rest of the Star Hats. Like, for example, look at any Star Hat before joining, you'll see he had a lot of, he or she had a lot of screen time with the rest of the Star Hats, that they already have a good relationship with them so that they fit the Star Hats dynamics. However, most people just think of what Yamato would do with the crew, but she doesn't have any any conversations with the Star Hat or anything. She's just no screen time with them at all. It's like she will begin to have screen time after she joins, so it's a bit weird in my opinion. Plus, I can point out that Luffy still calls Yamato Yamabro, not Yamato by her own name. Plus, I can also point out that Yamato doesn't have a strong dream like the rest of the Straw Hats. Plus, Yamato's devil fruit is supposed to be the protector of Wano, so I feel like Yamato still belongs in Wano. I think she will probably be in the final battle aiding the Straw Hats, but I don't think she's joining. And going back to the screen time, I can give you an example of, for example, Frankie. Frankie, before joining, he had established a good relationship with Usopp when he kidnapped him. They had a great connection that Usopp decided to defend Frankie. He had a great relationship with Sanji that Sanji decided to free him and fight with him on the sea terrain. Chopper helped Frankie with his fight. Then Frankie helped Chopper to turn back into from Monster Point. Then Frankie went to deliver the keys to Robin. So he had a lot of screen time with the Star Hats. So when he joined, he, he felt like he belonged with them. And you cannot say, well, Nico Robin joined when she only met Luffy. Because Nico Robin, she technically didn't join except after Annie's lobby, as she was just, she didn't have anywhere to go, so she decided to join the Straw Hats for now, 
and she even never called any of the straw hats by their names except for Luffy as she knew that one day she will abandon them so she really joined after Annie's look when she said I want to I want to live but looking at Yamato she's a really important character she is Kaido's daughter so so looking at Yamato in comparable with the other straw hats she misses a lot of things and and that's why i believe she's more of someone who has a lot of things related to momonoski her story continues with momonoski it doesn't continue with the straw hats as both of them have similar purpose and both of them have really great connections with each other both of them are a really really good deal together so if you enjoyed what I, my thoughts on why i believe yamato will still not join the straw hats even after the latest chapter please like and subscribe as it really helps me out a lot this is emo and i will see you next time bye bye